Hey guys. So apparently, as I sit here to try to edit day two of our uh, Nevada hot springs trip, I realized I lost some footage of, of us leaving the first hot springs. So let me give you a little backstory or explain what's going on. You know, we left our first hot springs. We, we made our breakfast, we left. Um, there was no snow, it was great. We, we picked up a little trash and every hot springs we're trying to leave it nicer than we found it. So we leave, we go to Denio Junction, I get gas, have a sandwich, talk to the owner of uh, the, the store. And him and his wife gave me some intel on Dyke Hot Springs. They gave me directions and I found it on Google. So we go to Dyke, but it was at my comfort level, the way Google sent me, which is not the only way to get there. We crossed 12 miles of sagebrush. There was a two track road that no one had traveled. Uh, we had to go through two farmer's gates. Um, and we popped out on the other side to a gravel road. So we did all that. We get to uh, Dicot Springs. There, I couldn't find the bathtubs that they spoke of. Uh, There's no place to soak, so it was a bust. So after all that, uh, we get back on 140 and head south further into Nevada to our next hot springs. We stop at another gas station. There was a really nice young lady there and she gave us directions to some hot springs about 20 miles away. Uh, so we drove to those. And this is where we're gonna pick up the video at the next hot springs. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks everybody. Okay, we made it to our hot springs uh, near the town of Paradise, Nevada. It's kind of cool because it's uh, a cattle trough. And when I got here, the, um, the gate was closed. The water was lukewarm. The gate was closed. So I opened the gate. We're dumping hot water in. Um, it's a cool spot. It's a little too close to civilization, I think. It's a little muddy and yucky. The carpet's kind of a nice touch because, well, it keeps the mud out of the pool I suppose um, it's a little ghetto over here we have a an old hot tub that they had plumbed in at one time somebody dug a hole um, yeah, whatever whatever the case may be it's not working it's not siphoning in right now but let me show you where the water's coming from that is super cool all right and I got Bob tied up because this spot is just a little too dangerous for Bobby there's just too much hot hot water and uh, he could fall in this hole because he's a knucklehead you could fall into that hole because he's a knucklehead try to swim in that water because he's a bonehead so uh but check this out check this out i would like to know how hot that is i bet you that's pretty damn hot but the rock formation this is really pretty cool Okay, what's pretty cool about this hot spring is they've got it plumbed in to this cattle trough and there's no cold water. So you just add, turn it on, start dumping water in, and when it gets hot, shut it off. That's pretty ingenious. I like it. So we just pulled the plug and, and uh, got some of the sediment out. So we're gonna fill it back up. I might even clean it all tonight and fill it and have it ready to roll in the morning. We'll see. This is our home for the night. It's, we're gonna have a midnight soak, uh, early morning soak. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. We're gonna cook those venison. Uh, I don't know if they're venison or elk. I can't remember what's in that package or not labeled. That my friend Marianne's friend uh, gave me. They also gave me the lean cod we cooked last weekend. So I'm just gonna saute up some of these sweet peppers because I had them. I've got some olive oil and butter on the scottle. So let's just soften these up a little bit. And I'm also gonna just make some instant mashed potatoes and I got the water going in the jet boil. Two cups of water boiling there.
it is difficult to do timing and, and juggle and mix and when you don't have a nice work surface. I don't know, maybe I should get the table for this. I, I didn't set up my table on the side of the truck or my tire table because it's kind of muddy over here. Um, so, kind of juggling stuff, using my ladder from the truck. We're making it happen. Let's plate this up. All right, let's see how this turned out. Well, the bag needs some potatoes, tastes like some potatoes. Which, by the way, they might have been expired by a month or so, or two. Oops, they've been here too long. Uh, let's try some of this venison. Man, does that taste good. Well, thank you, Marianne, and thank you to your BFF. I might save some of those potatoes, make little potato pancakes in the morning, and have some venison with that, and some eggs. So I'm gonna finish eating this, get back in the hot springs, and we'll talk to you later. Right, we're gonna make some breakfast here in a little bit, wrap up this hot springs, clean up some of the garbage around here, and find our way to the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you at the next hot springs, day three.